Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video will be a comparison between the Eufy Cam and the Arlo Pro 2 cameras. I will also compare both of those to my original camera setup which was the Blink system. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So let's have a look at the comparison in the features between um, all three systems. We've got um, first up the field of view. So the field of view on the Eufy Cam is 140 degrees. It is the widest field of view out of the three cameras. With the power supply, um, the Eufy security camera has a built-in battery which is meant to last up to one year. Now the actual um, battery specification is not listed anywhere on the website so we don't have any technical um, specifications. With the Arlo system we have a 2440 milliamp rechargeable and removable battery and the Blink cameras do run on um, two AA batteries. All cameras are compatible with both Android and iOS. Um, the Eufy Cam and the Arlo Pro 2 record um, up to 1080p video, full HD, whereas the Blink camera is 720p high definition. Now, when it comes to audio, the Eufy Cam and the Arlo both have uh, a built-in microphone and speaker with support for two-way audio whereas the uh, Blink camera only has a one directional microphone so that means it does not have a speaker, you can only record audio. The um, cameras all have a micro USB port which is primarily used for uh, charging on the Eufy Cam and the Arlo system however the USB port on the uh, Blink Cam is only used for external power source the camera does not support charging the batteries through the port. Now when it comes to motion detection, all three cameras support motion detection. Um, however, only two of the cameras have uh, proper night vision. With the um, Eufy Cam having night vision up to 33 feet, which is about 10 meters, and the Arlo cameras having um, night vision up uh, to 25 feet which is about seven and a half meters the blink cameras themselves don't really have night vision built in however they do have a a light that comes on when motion is detected at night and that kind of illuminates the scene however that does substantially reduce the battery life of the camera now these two cameras are both weather resistant with the Eufy Cam being IP66 rated and the Arlo Pro 2 being rated at IP65. The Blink camera is, um, is essentially a um, indoor camera, however I did have it set up in an outdoor environment which was underneath the shade so there was no water getting to the camera. Now when it comes to integration with um, smart devices such as Alexa, Google Assistant. Um, the Eufy Cam currently does not have support for those. It is coming via a future software update. I received an email the other day from the Kickstarter project which um, mentioned that um, support for Google Assistant would be coming sometime in quarter one 2019. The Arlo Pro 2 is the only camera out of the three that currently supports the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. When it comes to uh, facial or human recognition, the Eufy Cam has um, built-in facial recognition. However, with the Arlo Pro 2, you do need a subscription um, and that subscription allows you to detect uh, people, packages, cars and animals. The Blink camera does not have any of those features. If you'd like to review those features once again, you can pause the video here. The highlighted sections in the table show where each camera has better features than the others. 
Before we have a look at the home bases for each camera, just like to have a look at the mounts that come with the cameras, the magnetic mount um, in particular. So we've got the magnetic mount for the Eufy Cam and the magnetic mount for the Arlo Pro 2. And you will notice that they are both quite similar looking. However, surprisingly, the Eufy Cam magnetic mount is much stronger than the one on the Arlo Pro 2. So if you do use the magnetic mount for Arlo Pro 2 and you have it mounted outside, be careful as the camera can easily be pulled off. The Eufy Cam does require a lot more force than the um, Arlo Pro 2. So moving on, let's do a comparison between the home bases. We've got the Eufy Cam home base, which has a built-in micro SD card slot, an Ethernet port, a USB connection, which is primarily used for charging the cameras. Um, we've got the power point and this button here is used to uh, restart the home base as the home base has a built-in battery. You'll notice there is a uh, red light on the front which means it's running on battery currently so it can still communicate uh, with the cameras when the power goes off. The Arlo Pro 2 home base is slightly bigger than the Eufy Cam 2. Um, there is a on and off button power. We've got a, an ethernet connection and there are two USB ports. There is also a reset switch down the bottom here. The USB ports on the Arlo home base are used for connecting a uh, USB stick, which can be used for our local recording storage and the blink um, home base as you can see is quite tiny that is why it is quite useless um, it doesn't really do much apart from connect to micro USB for power there is an Ethernet connection there for internet and the USB port actually currently has no functionality You've probably realized by now that um, I'm not a fan of the Blink camera system. So as far as reliability goes, I'll tell you straight up, I do not recommend the system at all. My experience with these cameras has been so bad that I was contemplating disposing them. I find the cameras very unreliable, batteries need changing quite often, at least once a month, and the customer support is terrible. The cameras would um, just stop working intermittently and the application would say the system is offline. I would um, do, you know, I would do all the standard troubleshooting, reboot the cameras, reboot the system, and nothing would work. Then all of a sudden the cameras would just start working randomly. Every time I would contact customer support, I would get the standard response. Well, we can see that it's actually working from our side now, so there is no problem. You know, they would focus. Um, more on closing the case, marking it as solved rather than preventing the problem and avoiding future issues. So I wasn't very happy with the technical support from Blink. Another thing worth mentioning for Blink system is the, um, the support for IFT is only in the US. So if that's one of the important features for you, again, stay away from these cameras. It's worth mentioning that I've been running the Arlo system just a little longer than the Eufy cam. And I can happily say that so far I haven't had any issues. The cameras have both been quite reliable. They haven't had any downtime so far. And um, they've both been available every time I've gone to check the cameras. They've always uh, detected motion and recorded it. A couple of things to note about the camera systems. With the Arlo Pro 2 system, you can actually get quite a few accessories on the market. Um, some of those accessories are silicon sleeves, they're official Arlo accessory, um, you can purchase them from the Arlo website. Um, you can also get additional mounts, I find um, these mounts that I purchased off eBay, they are a lot better for mounting outdoor compared to the um, magnetic mounts and they're um, a lot more secure and stable. 
One thing to note with these silicon sleeves is um, I'm not a big fan. Um, I, I was using this on the camera outside and when I went to change the battery the other day I realized that um, bugs get inside and they've been creating nests. So um, for that reason I decided not to use these anymore. And the other issue that I have is um, a bit of a funny one. Um, I often get spiders making spider webs on the front of the Arlo Pro 2 camera. Now I don't know if they just love the cameras or whether it's just me experiencing the issue but I have tried um, using bug spray around the camera to create a barrier and it doesn't seem to work. The spider webs are quite annoying and very visible in the night mode so they are basically um, obstructing the view completely but they're not that visible in daylight. I haven't experienced this with the Eufy cam system yet, so if you have any recommendations or know how to solve that spider web issue, please let me know. As you can see from the comparison view between both cameras, the Eufy Cam video appears to have sharper and brighter video even in night mode. The Arlo Pro 2 video appears to be a lot softer and sometimes even washed out or oversaturated. While looking at the video properties for the recorded files, we can see the Eufy Cam video resolution is 1920 by 1080 However, the Arlo Pro 2 video properties show that the resolution is 1904 by 1072 so it is not exactly 1080p resolution. Not sure if this is a software issue or a limitation of the cameras themselves. And that's all for today's video guys. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.